Ever pondered why a narcissist retaliates when you finally gather the strength to walk away? Today, we're unmasking male narcissistic retaliation, a term that may be painfully familiar to those who've navigated relationships with these individuals. Narcissistic retaliation, at its core, is about control. A narcissist weaves a web of dominance, ensnaring their partners in a cycle of emotional manipulation. When that control is threatened, when their partner dares to reclaim their autonomy, the narcissist retaliates. But why? Well, it boils down to their inability to handle rejection. A narcissist's self-worth is intricately tied to their perceived superiority. When you walk away, you challenge that superiority. You expose their vulnerability, their fear of being seen as less than perfect. And that's something a narcissist can't tolerate. So they retaliate, using every tool at their disposal to regain their lost control. In the face of rejection, a narcissist's retaliation is their desperate attempt to regain control. How does a narcissist's mind work when they're faced with the prospect of losing control? A question that uncovers the anatomy of male narcissistic revenge. You see, the male narcissist's psyche is wired around control. When they can no longer manipulate or stalk their ex-partners, they're driven to destructive measures to regain that control. It's a cycle, an ebb and flow of power that's as predictable as it is unsettling. But what triggers this retaliation? It's the fear of losing control, the dread of losing their grip on the narrative they've so carefully crafted. And when they can't hoover or stalk, they resort to destruction. It's their desperate attempt to pull the strings, to pu puppeteer the situation back into their favor. Signs of potential narcissistic attacks can be subtle, but they're there. A sudden change in behavior, an increase in aggression, or a disturbing interest in your personal life could all be warnings. Awareness of these scenarios is your first line of defense against narcissistic retaliation. How can you protect yourself and break free from a male narcissist's destructive cycle? To survive the tactics of a male narcissist, it's crucial to arm yourself with knowledge, resilience, and self-care. Recognize the patterns of narcissistic behavior and understand that it's not about you, but about their need for control and validation. Setting boundaries is key. Be firm and consistent. Remember, you are not responsible for their reactions. If they retaliate, it's a reflection of their own insecurities, not your worth. Seek support from trusted individuals or groups who understand what you're going through. This can provide a sense of solidarity and validation. Most importantly, maintain no contact. This might be challenging, especially if you've been conditioned to respond to their needs. But every time you engage, you feed into their cycle of control. Cut off their avenues to reach you, physically and digitally. And finally, take care of your mental health. Healing takes time and patience. Remember, you hold the power to break free and protect yourself against narcissistic retaliation.